in this video I want to tell you a little bit about eslprintables.com. This useful website has lots of functions and tools for us to use in our lessons and I really invite you to explore it all because we have the chance to interact with other teachers around the world, we can find uh, worksheets, etc. But in this video, I want to focus on online exercises, how to find useful and free exercises, and also how to create our online exercises. Of course, to start, we need to access the website. So you just type the name and you'll be here. After that, it is very important to register yourself. You register in here. I recommend you read all the policies from the website because uh, in that way you'll get familiar with all the rules and what you can and can't do uh, when you are working here and when you become part of the community. So you accept the conditions after you have read all this and you continue. After that you'll find a form that you must fill out. Once you have filled out all this. Uh, you agree and you register. Once you're registered, you'll have a profile. I'm gonna show you my profile. As you can see, I, I have already created my profile because I've used this website for so long. But as I told you at the beginning, I'm gonna focus only on online exercises. So if you wanna create your own one, you click on that and you have many options here yeah you can create a game you can create a, a quiz let's suppose that you want to create a quiz you have to access again here once you access your profile you just close this pop-up window and this is the space for you to create your own exercise i invite you to take a look at it um, explore use it you have many options you can include videos audios and make sure that when you finish you publish you click on publish or you have the chance to preview the exercise before you publish it and well at the end you'll have something like this this is my exercise i already created it of course you have to devote some time for you to create your own to organize the information in this one for example i embedded a video from my channel and i created a quiz a fill in the gap exercise based on the explanation from my video or you can also include multiple choice uh, one disadvantage is that we as teachers cannot see their grades but this is more for the students to practice at home that's for reinforcing what they have learned in your classes and, and that's it. Now, let's suppose that you don't want to create it because you don't have time to do so. So it is also possible to find the exercises that are already created. So you just click, you go to englishexercises.org and there you'll write what you are looking for. For instance, you, uh, you choose the level you choose the level let's suppose it's elementary and for adults or teenagers so let's suppose it's 13 years old right for instance um, modal verbs and you'll find lots of interesting exercises for the students to practice at home you can share the link for instance here you click here mm, here you can share the link with the students and they'll practice at home or you can ask the students to share their screen and check what they're doing. So this is a, a very good option for you to make the students practice at home. And the best thing is that it's for free. 